We are starting ABC 10 News at 11 o'clock. Glad you're with us. I'm Walt Gray. And I'm Monica Coleman. We are continuing our coverage of the Park Fire, burning over 360,000 acres across Butte and Tehama counties. This is day five of this blaze. Although growth seemed to slow over the weekend, it still poses a threat to thousands of homes. Here are the latest numbers on the fire from just after six this morning. Over 368,000 acres have burned with 12% containment. Over 4,700 people from across the state have been sent to fight the fire as well. ABC 10's Luke Clary spoke with some evacuees about what they could be coming home to. The massive park fire still burning. More than 4,000 people have had to evacuate in Butte County alone. Many still waiting to learn whether their homes and properties were destroyed or still standing. With the fire growing in the distance, Don Lampy and his wife left Forest Ranch Wednesday night. Something's got to happen. Yeah, you know, we got to be able to get up there. We got to be able to to know what's going on, and you know, and you just sit and wait. Cal Fire has identified dozens of destroyed homes. Lampy believed his was saved. We've done all of the all of the things we're supposed to do: the defensible space and the, you know, and keeping keeping things uh, in order. Susan Singleton and her husband fled their home in Cohasset, just north of Chico, taking shelter in their vehicle with their seven dogs. Whatever we had can be replaced, but I wouldn't have left the animals at all. She doesn't believe that she and her family will have a home to return to. It feels like a miracle standing here. And you Butte see County rancher John Russell speaking to ABC's Jacqueline Lee. How much in damages did this cost your family? I can't tell you. Yeah. Firefighters constructed a fire line around his barn. That's what saved this place. His cows and much of his property still safe. Sadly, that won't be the case for others like Susan Singleton and her dogs. I'm just trying to figure out what we're doing. That's all. We got to have a place to land. That was our Luke Clary up there. And today, the man accused of starting the park fire will make his first court appearance. ABC 10's Gardwal Sangha has more on what we are learning and hoping to learn about the charges. This man, 42-year-old Ronnie Dean Stout, will face a judge Monday after he was arrested in his Chico home and accused of starting the park fire. He is booked on suspicion of intentional arson. Prosecutors accused Stout after a witness posted a video on TikTok saying he lit the vehicle on fire in Upper Bidwell Park. Then she saw him get into the vehicle, do something in the vehicle, get out of the vehicle, and then push the flaming vehicle down the embankment. They add the vehicle belongs to his mother, and the witness felt the man's activity was strange. You really have to prove it, so you're going to look for things that he may have said. Defense attorney Mark Reichel is not connected to this case, but last year helped the father and son duo Davis and Travis Smith avoid criminal charges after being accused of recklessly starting the 2021 Caldor fire. I think what you're going to look for here is whether or not the district attorney's office charges it with intentional which is a different penal code section, 451, intentionally starting it versus just recklessly starting it or negligently starting it, intentional. You intended the natural consequences of your actions. You want, you kind of desired this to happen. The sentences for that are much higher. I take it this is a very fluid situation because the fire is still burning and you don't know how many more charges that could be tacked on. That's exactly right. There are enhancements in the codes for how many properties were hurt, how many people were injured. Was there great bodily injury for just one person or many people? Those are the things that are actually sentencing enhancements that can send you away to prison for even longer than the original charge. Attorney Reichel says it is difficult for both sides to prove their case as the erratic park fire <laughs> continues to devastate several counties. It is maddening that we're here again. Uh, and it is particularly maddening that this particular fire was caused uh, by an individual. The Park Fire is the largest in the state so far this year. A spokesperson for CAL FIRE says the work firefighters did yesterday was crucial in beginning to get the blaze under control. We had no containment on the fire uh, until yesterday morning. And so uh, the last, I would say, day and a half, we've been able to make really good progress. Uh, getting some you know, control over this fire for the first three days. Uh, it, was, it was essentially a 300,000 acre fire after three days. And so uh, it's, 
we have slowed the growth of the fire for the last day and a half or so and hoping to make more progress as we continue forward. Lassen Volcanic National Park remains closed due to the park fire. All employees and visitors were evacuated on the western side of the park. The Dixie Fire damaged much of the eastern part of the park just three years ago. Governor Newsom visited the park fire over the weekend, stopping by CAL FIRE's incident command post after declaring a state of emergency in Butte and Tehama counties. Newsom also secured federal assistance to help with the firefight and those impacted by flames. As we hear of more destruction left behind by the park fire, we're also hearing stories of people stepping up as heroes, like Trevor Staggs. According to the Butte County Sheriff's Office, Trevor was working as a volunteer with the search and rescue team on Saturday when he learned that a person was forced to leave their dogs behind while evacuating. Trevor got flown into the evacuation zone and ran through one, of half, one and a half miles of smoke to find the family of Rottweilers. Trevor immediately fed the puppies and their mother before leading them back to the helicopter. They were all taken safely out of the evacuation zone and are recovering with animal disaster groups. Let's go to Kern County and thousands have evacuated as the Borel Fire continues sweeping through. This is the Sequoia National Forest. The fire has burned over 53,000 acres there with wind and vegetation fueling this. At last check this morning, that one 0% contained. For the latest on all things you need to know with California wildfires, download the ABC 10 app. It is free in your device's app store.